Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your channeled message reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get started on your message. I will be uploading several uh, channeled message readings today. So make sure to go on my channel and check them out. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. What's the message for someone out there? Yeah, you have 39, which is the dies, taking chances, taking risks. I feel like you have a choice to make. Hmm. 41 is the well. The well is all about wishes. Hmm. Oops. What is this here? 43 is the labyrinth trial and error. Okay. So tell it uh, tell us about the dice. Taking chances taking risks. It's like the full card in the other classic tarot decks that we use for those of you who are familiar with tarot. Number four is the house. Okay. Clarify. 15 is the bear. Could it be that somebody wants you to choose them? Could that be what it is? Hmm. So I'm also seeing this dice card as like a choice. Number four is the house. The house is all about, um, it could be an actual house that you're connected to, a home, a building, a property. You can even look at this as like maybe something in real estate for those of you who are in that industry. Um, hmm, it could be an establishment, a property. The house card could also represent a family unit. Then you have 15. 15 is the bear. The bear is all about power. It's all about strength. Hmm. 26, the book. I call that the book of knowledge. 19 is the tower. The tower could be an actual tower, like a skyscraper. The tower represents uh, institutions, organizations. Could, okay, is there like a business that's having problems, like a business that's experiencing difficulties? And then there's something about you. I'm hearing something about like a company, organization that is facing problems, right? 38 is the bridge. They're trying to overcome difficulties. Um, number two is the clover. The clover is luck. It's happiness. Number 12 is the owl wisdom. Yeah. Okay. So I see a place here. Could I feel like it's some sort of uh, like an like a establishment or company organization. It's facing problems or it was facing problems. Then you, you connect yourself to this place. Maybe this is where you work. You know, maybe this is a place you visited. Maybe this is, this is a place that you live at. But you connected yourself like 24 is the heart union and harmony. You came together with this place and immediately you brought them luck and great fortune immediately. There's someone here who carries a lot of luck. They carry a lot of blessings. They carry a lot of anointing over their life. And it's like everything that everything they touch turns to gold, right? Every room that they step into, every room that they enter, they just uplift the place. Every territory that they step foot in, they 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 bring a renewal. They bring a rebirth. They make things better. They bring in positive changes. And so when you connected yourself to this place, right, I feel like this place is owned by a company. So it's a place, it's a building, it's an establishment of some sort that you connected yourself to. The tower is representing the company that owns this place that you connected yourself to. You connected yourself to this place during during a very crucial period where they were going through problems, right? Like things were going downhill. But the moment, the moment you entered the situation, everything got better all of a sudden. Everything got better. You're showing up as the clover. You brought them great luck, great fortune. Number 12 is, is the owl. I feel like maybe you were even guided to this place. Okay, very nice. Now, 29 is lady number two. 17 is the stork, rising to the top, elevating. Lady number two is someone who's passionate. Let me see here. 
okay, here's the thing. Could it be that there's some sort of like a, a stork rising to the top, lady number two, that's like a queen of wands energy, passionate, ambitious. Uh, number 12 is the bird, communications. 34 is the fish, abundance and resources. Ten of swords. You see, could it be that you brought these people so much luck and fortune that they kind of don't want to let you go? Like they don't want you to ever leave? Ten of swords is here. Yeah, like there's a woman here and I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is someone else. There's a woman here who she's, she's showing up as the stork because I feel like she's an executive of some sort in some sort of company, like a higher up. Now, you started to help these people, which I'm sure they were very shocked by the, 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 the turnaround that you brought them. You know, the moment you connected yourself to this place, their company started to do better. But keep in mind, right before you, you connected yourself to this place, things were going downhill like really, really bad. They, you know, it could have even been that this company was on the verge of closing or ending or something like that. You come in during a, a very crucial period where all of a sudden, when you step into the picture, everything just booms, right? Everything goes booming. Everything starts doing better and better. And they're like, wait a second, this is not a coincidence. It's this child of God who stepped in and something took place on a spiritual level that just brought made everything better so at this point they're looking at you like hallelujah you know the chosen one right <laughs> at this point they're looking at you and they're like uh we have to secure this this child of god this is clearly some sort of powerful being here we have to secure this child of god we have to keep this child of god we have to hold on to this child of god then they start being a little bit obsessed with you how do they get obsessed with you they start intercepting uh communication and what do i mean by intercepting communication that was supposed to reach you would have to go through them first so these people kind of started to gatekeep you in a way where they play the role of like a like a security team or a bodyguard right you're the precious chosen ones that they've laid you know they've they've, they've laid hands on it's like stumbling into a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow right they start to feel really really lucky that you were sent to them. And maybe in a way, these people have their own ideologies uh, when it comes to who you are. I hope they're not thinking that you're some sort of like God or goddess or something like that. Um, just It just depends on who these people are and their beliefs. But I do see them sort of gatekeeping you. Any information that was sent to you, it had to go through them first. I'm pretty sure they were doing this without your permission, without your knowledge. But they receive communication, they receive information about you. It was not supposed to go to them, but again, there's an interception, right? Where if anybody wants to talk to you, they have to go through these people first. So they receive communication about you and you are connected to abundance. Like the fish represents abundance, resources, trade and commerce, something of that sort, uh, something, something of that sort. And now they're thinking, oh, no, 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 this child of God can't leave. Um, this is some important communication or information that you were supposed to receive. It's connected to your abundance. Um, and many of you, that's your material abundance. But I do not believe I feel like they held I feel like they withheld that information from you because if you would have received it that means you you would have to go right you would have to free yourself so the ten of swords is a betrayal it's a backstab you did not receive the information or communications that you were supposed to you got betrayed the four of swords this is you carrying some anxiety maybe you were expecting communication maybe you were waiting on news about something you know but I can tell you that infer communication got intercepted number 12 is the bird the birds are messengers communication news um you have five the five of wands i feel like these people kind of started to get obsessed with you like oh my gosh yeah somebody wants to take this chosen one away from us you have the knight of swords you have the five of wands they were very quick to react to 
these other people who wanted to communicate with you about your abundance. The Knight of Swords is someone who's like mean, aggressive, military-like. The Knight of Swords is someone who's a swift action taker. So these people are like, nope, we're going to intercede. We're going to interfere and disrupt whatever this is that this child of God is supposed to be taking a part of because we don't want this child of, this child of God to go, to leave. So there was conflict. The five of wands is conflict, is competition. They're literally fighting over you. But are they showing you that? No, they're pretending like everything's fine. Nine of cups. Wow. Nine of cups, you have this woman sitting neatly with her legs crossed. Yeah, like nothing ever happened. They start fighting over you as if you are some sort of object. You have the nine of pentacles that's here. Clarify the nine of pentacles. They did all of this behind your back the night because they start fighting over you. Why? There is some sort of anointing over your life where like you make everything better. You bring in positive changes. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who's extremely abundant, very self-sufficient, very well accomplished. I mean, when, when people see you as the Knight of Pentacles, you pretty much have it all. Uh, the Eight of Cups represents someone who is... Um, the Eight of Cups is like leaving leaving something behind. They did not want you to leave them behind, right? They want to keep you all to themselves. They still want a hold on you. Um, it's almost like you are some sort of precious gem, you know, but it's in a very objectifying sort of way. Um, kind of like a, they want to keep you in a bottle, like a genie in a bottle. Um, let me see here have the nine of swords lots of anxieties about you leaving um leaving them separating from them yeah eight of wands is you leaving you going but i feel like this was some important communications that you were supposed to receive um and they interfere um have the eight of swords this mental imprisonment then you have justice Wow. I feel like you were waiting on something, expecting something, but it never happened. And that puts you in a lot of anxiety. It will still happen. Yeah, I put you in that nine of wands, wounded warrior. You started to feel like something was off. I think you started to feel a little bit triggered. Yeah, you started to, like you knew something was off. The seven of wands is standing your ground, defending yourself, right? Even though you can pinpoint what was going on, you could feel it. The five of pentacles, hardships and difficulties. It's like you're, it's almost like you're screaming and crying for help and nobody could help you. you know, like these people did not want to let you go. You have the five of pentacles here. You have the two of swords. Everybody just sort of ignored you. Oh my gosh. I feel like you tried to communicate your concerns. You tried to express your concerns, but everybody just kind of turned a blind eye and didn't do anything about it what the heck that must have been so creepy let me see queen of swords king of they, they just kind of blocked you out like it's like you're screaming for help and they're pretending like they don't see you they just kind of ignored you and blocked you out what the heck yeah this is an institution that did this that just it's like someone here found someone here stumbled into a chosen one like and they were fascinated by you and all of your gifts and your power and all of that um the hierophant represents institutions you know companies corporations but these are the employees like when i look at the queen of swords king of swords these could have been people in in the managerial position people in in managerial positions people in executive positions in a company these are the employees because the eight of pentacles is work these are the workers they just kind of blocked you out like yeah they knew what was going on by the way they were just taking orders from the higher ups the 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 Seven of Swords, the Five of Cups, gosh, they knew what was going on, but they couldn't say anything. Some of them felt bad. The Five of Cups is like regret, crying over spilled milk. Some of them felt bad, but they were too scared to tell you what, what was going on. They just kind of did their job and followed orders because they work for this company here with the Hierophant. Um, but they knew exactly what was going on. They knew something was strange. Maybe they were even ordered to kind of like 
secure you, gatekeep you or something like that. The Four of Cups is here, the Chariot. Yeah, so that you wouldn't leave. Like there's something here about, it's almost like someone holding you hostage. This is actually very creepy. Uh, Four of Cups, the Chariot, the Six of Swords. Wow, so Four of Cups, Chariot, so yeah. There's something here where you weren't allowed to leave what the actual heck? What is that? There's something here where you were not allowed to leave. I'm so sorry, you guys. I had to pause the reading for a little bit. But what I was saying is, was there something here where like you were not allowed to leave? Okay, because I see two people here, uh, uh, King and Queen of Swords, in some sort of authority figure like role or position who it's almost like they were instructed to not let you leave or not let you go like something about this just feels very odd okay very odd you have the six of wands that's here let me see the six of wands I feel like these two people could have been in some sort of lead role, managerial role, executive role. They were taking orders or, or they were giving the orders that you can't leave. Six of Wands, Two of Cups. I feel like these people were worshiping you. I feel like they were worshiping you as if you were some sort of like sacred, you know, sacred being or something like that. Everything is fine. Something just isn't. But the thing is, they don't want this to come out. Like, everything is fine in Seven of Cups. They don't want this to come to the surface. They don't want people to know what they were doing to you. They don't want it to come out. So I feel like they tried their very best to just kind of keep keep things looking fine from the surface where even if you did try to report this there were there you know maybe there wasn't really a way that you could report this or prove it because I feel like these people had a way of just making everything look normal even though it wasn't normal what they were trying to do to you was not normal it could have even been there could have been a lot of gaslighting as well like trying to make you feel like you're crazy when you did express your concerns because i'm looking at everything is fine in the 7 of cups 7 of cups is like weighing your options trying to get an trying to get an understanding of something right it would have been very hard to pinpoint what these individuals were doing or prove it Holy Spirit, tell us more about this message. You have the Hermit and you have the Queen of Cups. Again, something here is showing up about these people trying to hide you or, or keep you hidden. If there were people trying to find you, they tried to keep you hidden. If there were people trying to inform you, communicate about you, communicate with you, inquire about you, they kept you hidden. Like information was not allowed to be shared about you. And this was a mutual understanding amongst all parties involved. The Three of Cups, yeah, all parties knew not to share your information. Or if someone came and asked about you, they kept it, they kept your information hidden, or they misguided people that, that they didn't know anything about you. This is just weird. This is weird, but very, very difficult to prove because everybody was acting, all the people involved were just kind of acting like everything is fine. How could they have been okay with this? How could they have been okay with this? Because they were paid, the Ace of Pentacles. They were paid to keep quiet. It's like hush money. They were paid. You have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Empress. Yeah, there's a woman here. The Empress is like a, a, a mature woman, maybe a mother, mother figure. She could be a business owner, Queen of Pentacles. She had paid them a lot of money. The Empress overlooks an empire. So this woman has a lot of money. I feel like she paid a big lump sum of money for all of these individuals to, to participate in this, but keep it quiet as well. Wow. This is insane. Yeah, she gave them money. Six of Pentacles is giving, gifting, sharing. Wow. 
Wow. Holy Spirit, tell us more about this message. The hangman. You have the emperor. Hmm. The hangman is all about releasing, surrendering, and letting go. The hangman could even be an awakening card. Then you have the emperor that's here. Let me see this emperor. Because the emperor is like a mature man. He tends to be the partner to the empress. Who is this emperor here? King of Cups. Yeah, so the emperor is a man who... King of Cups. This is Clifford the Emperor, Ace of Cups. This man is very, like these people are weird. It's one of those things where this is the, like this is the wife, this is the husband, this is the mother, this is the father. He's showing up as the King of Cups. Okay. Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. There is a personal, looking at all these cups, there's a personal interest that he has in you. Death. He wants to use you to bring, to transform something here. I hope these people aren't trying to, trying to like energy harvest you because the way he's showing up as a king of cups is almost like he wants to approach you in like a friendly sort of way, get you to trust him, you know? It's like he wants to be your friend. And these two people are connected, the empress and the emperor, they are connected. It's like husband and wife, mother, father here. Uh, I strongly believe that these people are connected to the institution that is running this place here with the house that you connected yourself to. I don't know if you worked here, visited this place, lived in this place, take it how it resonates, but their company owns this place that you just happen to have connected yourself to and that's how they discovered you, okay? Now, he wants to, I feel like the woman has a more aggressive approach towards you. She's the one behind the scenes paying people you know, bribing people to really secure you and, you know, do all of those kind of gatekeeping and, you know, holding you, holding on to you and all that kind of nonsense. Now, the man is taking a more softer approach, even though I know that these two people are connected. The man is taking a more softer approach. He feels like he can get you to like him. He feels like, um, he can like approach you as a friend, you know, and kind of manipulate you on an emotional level, get you to trust him and confide in him, but they want to use you. He's trying to use you for some sort of bigger plan or agenda. The death is endings that leads to transformations. The death brings new beginnings, rebirth or renewal. The strength is all about overcoming difficulties. This man feels like he can use you, use your energy, use your gifts, your blessings, your anointing, use your light, which isn't, you know, it isn't directly your light. It is the light of God that shines over you. God has shined his light over you. And that's why you are so blessed. That's why you're so abundant. That's why you're so gifted. That's why you're so anointed. But he feels like he can use you to kind of do some cleaning up here. He can use you to bring him back to life because remember their company was experiencing an ending when you had connected yourself. This is a business empire. Like these are wealthy people who were experiencing an ending. Then you connected yourself to one of their businesses within their business empire. And I feel like you helped them and now it's time to keep it pushing, but they don't. They don't want you to move forward. They want to keep you. They want to use your energy. They want to harvest your energy. They want to use you as a power source that will generate for them what they want. And so he's thinking that he can use you to help him get back up. I mean, this they were really about to experience an ending. He's thinking he can use you to revive, to revive what has ended, all that has ended in his company or in his business, his institution. The death is an ending and the strength, though, is overcoming difficulties, right? So he thinks that whatever 
all the losses that he has taken, he thinks that you can bring him again. All that has ended in his company, he thinks that you can revive it. This man is looking at you as like a great magician. These people are worshiping you. The lovers, they're just like, they're like the gods have sent us an angel like these people i don't know what their their faith is what their belief is but they are taking you to be like you know some sort of like look at the four of pentacles how they are literally holding on to you right four of pentacles is when you have an attachment to a person place or thing now this is a big problem because you are not meant to be captured you're not meant to be imprisoned you are meant to spread your wings and fly you are meant to shine your light the divine light of christ that the lord has shined over your life and shared with you you are meant to use his light to illuminate illuminate the world by illuminating other people waking up other people illuminating other people pathways bringing people out of darkness and into the white light of christ which is what we call spiritual healing and deliverance that is what you are called to do you understand you're not meant to be captured and hidden and used and abused this is very dangerous and on some level this could even be very much satanic this is not a compliment at all what these people are doing these are people who have a very um unique belief system these people are thinking that you are some sort of god goddess i don't know what words they're using here and they're like we have to keep this person we have to keep this child of god because this child of god is going to help us get back up the death that we've experienced the endings the losses this child of god is going to revive and rebirth and renew this child of god is going to you know give us a game and help us overcome they want to use you they want to use you. They want to use your light. They want to use your power. Please be very, very careful. Wow. You have the four of wands that's here. They are literally getting in the way of the other work that you're meant to do with other people, places, and things. Because I'm sure with the kind of light that the Lord has shined on you and shared with you, I'm sure that there's much work that you're supposed to be doing for the kingdom of God. But instead, these people are intercepting, disrupting, interfering, and trying to hold you back. So what they're doing is working against the will of God for your life. There's things, there's other things that you're meant to be doing, other people who you're meant to be meeting, but they're getting in the way of that. Hence the four of wands. These are the other people who you're meant to be coming together with. You have commitments. You have spiritual assignments and duties. But look, they're all coming to... Look, look the, the, the tower is a dramatic ending. Right? It's a tower moment. It's a big shake up. Wow. I feel like these people have discovered or have some sort of knowing of your spiritual identity of who you are. Uh, they could have even seen your light, okay? Uh, these people could even be spiritual themselves, although I feel like they are more so of darkness. They're, you know, they're, their kind of spirituality is a darker form of spirituality. Um, and they absolutely saw your light. And these people were like, oh my gosh, you know, it's, it's like stumbling into a pot of gold. They want to use you. Um, but it's really going to be them abusing you. Then you have the three of swords and the queen of wands. They are keeping you away from, from something here because it's like a hook. They want to keep you, they want to hook you on something so that you can't leave. Um, they are separating you or keeping you away from something. You have the judgment card, something that you're meant to be doing. Three of swords, queen of wands, knight of pentacles. Yeah, so there's delays. The knight of pentacles is the slowest moving energy in the deck. Because they're holding back, they're holding you back, they're holding on to you. So you're not able to run forward and really do what you're being called to do. So there's delays now when it comes to your other missions, your other assignments. You have the Page of Cups. You have the Seven of Pentacles. 
you have the devil. And they're not, they're not willing to let you go anytime soon. Like they're still very interested in you with the page of cups. The seven of pentacles is someone who's very persistent and the devil, they're obsessed. These people are obsessed. How are you, how are you going to get away from these people? The ace of wands, because it's going to be a challenge. Unless you move ace of wands, the fool. I feel like these people could follow you. The Ace of Wands, the Fool. I don't feel like they will hurt you, but I just feel like they're getting in the way. You have the Ace of Wands, you have the Fool, you have the Magician. The Six of Cups. The magician is willpower, manifestation. The Six of Cups is reunions, reconciliations. I feel like you would have to... The, pay, the, the Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning, okay? Then the full card is taking that leap of faith into a new beginning. So is that you, like, relocating or... Three of Wands waiting. Three of Wands is also a card of teamwork. Then you have the moon. Or is someone waiting for you? Let me see here. The star, wish fulfillment. I feel like the I feel like the ace of wands and the fool card is saying take action. So interesting. The star, the ten of pentacles. Oops, that was the letter. Hmm. What are you being called to do? The sun. Illumination. The, the, the child is also here. There's something you're being called to do. Maybe you know it. Maybe this is spiritual guidance, right? Use discernment. <sighs> Let your intuition to help you. But there's something that you're being called to do, like action that you should be taking. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, then you have 27, the letter. Hmm, I think I know what this is. Number one is the message. Let me see here. What's this Ten of Pentacles? The choice. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, that's what it was. You, thank you, Holy Spirit. I just heard it. You remember earlier at the beginning of the reading where I was like, they were intercepting communication. Like the communications that you were supposed to receive, it, it's like whenever somebody wants to talk to you, it has to go through them first. They were filtering through your communications and deciding what which communications you, you should receive and which communications you shouldn't. So if, I feel like somebody here had given you some sort of offer or opportunity and you don't know about it because again, every communication that was made to you, these people intercepted and they would filter your communications. They were determining, they would, de they get to decide what communications you receive and what communications you don't receive. So if you were receiving communications about offers, opportunities, these people were taking it, ripping it off. Like they did not want you to know about it. There is with the letter card here, there's some sort of communications from a business, maybe a job, business empire, something like that. That's what the 10 of pentacles is. 
but they did not want you to know because that means you have a choice, right? They, they want to be your only choice. They don't want you to choose any other person, place, or thing but them. These people want you to be connected to them, their company, their business, because you bring them great luck and fortune. So, oh my gosh, this is so freaky. This is really freaky. Because I also feel, I also feel like they could have been sending other people to bring you offers and opportunities that would get you connected to them indirectly. Does that make sense? But anyways, the letter card is here. They did not want you to receive some sort of information about a Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, things like wealthy families, generational wealth, your long-term security and stability, business empire. Someone had someone had sent a letter or some some sort of form of communication to you, but you didn't you didn't get it. I think this person wanted to like offer you something. Number one is the mess the messenger card. Somebody here had reached out to you. Look at this, wow, let me see here. Something flipped over. It's gonna bother me. Something here flipped over. Okay, maybe it didn't. I just sworn something flipped over. But 42 is the compass. And the key. <laughs> wow. The compass is guidance and directions. 33 is the key. The key is all about discoveries and solutions. This is where you have to use discernment. This is where you have to rely on the Holy Spirit to guide you. Because this communications was taken away from you. So you don't know who it was that was trying to reach out to you. But this is where you have to use your spiritual gifts. Number seven is the snake. You see, they don't want you to know that there was a there was another party trying to reach out to you. The snake is someone who will betray you, backstab you. They have caused you lots of delays here. 37 is the clock because you, you didn't receive the communications that you were supposed to receive. The thing is, I feel like they were doing this to you repeatedly. I feel like whoever this person is that tried to communicate with you really made the efforts to communicate with you over and over and over. Like they sent several forms of communications to you and each time it was blocked. I feel like the I feel like this person is still interested in you. Whoever this person, place, or thing is, whether it's an offer, whether it's an opportunity, it's still on the table for you. But there is a big delay here. This is where you have to use your spiritual gifts, and you know you have spiritual gifts. If you didn't have spiritual gifts and power, these people would not be like obsessed with you like this. You have to rely on your spiritual gifts because you don't have the physical paper or document that was sent to you, the mail, the letter, you don't have it. You have to rely on the Holy Spirit to guide you. And the Holy Spirit will continue to, to guide you rightfully. So 35 is the anchor. Maybe you have some sort of inner knowing of what this could be. 35 is the anchor. 29 is lady number one. Eighteen is the dog. They're gonna. Here's the thing. They're gonna keep on. Do, these people are going to keep on doing this. Thirty-five is the anchor. The anchor is what security. They have this thing where they keep on putting security around you. Everywhere you go, there's security around you. If somebody wants to reach you, they 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 will literally stand in the way. Like if outsiders have to go through them to get to you. This is their way of pretty much 
controlling you, not even securing. They're lying and saying that they're securing you or they're convincing themselves that they're doing this for security purposes, that they have your back, right? 18 is the dog. Uh, the dog is loyalty and support. Like, hey, you can trust us. We're just securing you. We're just looking out for you. No, it is a way of controlling you and steering you in the direction that they want you to be in. Um, this is their way of filtering through who you get to talk to, what communications you get to receive. They are literally dictating your whole life. And so at this point, if there's any outside person, place or thing that wants to connect with you, you have to use discernment. We are called to walk by faith and not by sight. And this is where your faith is going to be tested. And this is where you're going to have to use your spiritual gifts. 23 is the mice. The mice is all about a loss, destruction, and devastation. Look, if, you, if you're thinking that you can escape this just by like moving away, they're going to find you again. They're going to find you again. This is a whole institution that's... or. These are people who own, I feel like these are really, really wealthy people who own some sort of company or institution that will find you. I feel like your, your best bet is to connect yourself, like whatever this letter was, that's pretty much your refuge. Mm, look, number three is the ship. That letter is what's going to take you to your next destination where these people can't get to you. But let's look at the mice. The mice is a loss, destruction, devastation. Number eight is the coffin. Let's see here. 29. Gentleman number gentleman number two. Hmm. This is so interesting because the mice, the coffin. Hmm. All of these masculine energies showing up like that. Ace of Swords, the truth and clarity. It's almost like you have two people here after you. Yeah, it's two. I said two people and the two of pentacles showed up. But I feel like one is good, one is bad. I feel like gentlemen, number one is the one who sent you that communications that got interfered with. I feel like gentlemen number uh German number two is the one who's pushy forceful trying to use you or maybe it's mixed up tell us about gentleman number two could be the other like one of them is good one of them is bad clarify gentleman number one or gentleman number two clarify gentleman number two see gentleman number two is the king of wands Page of Swords. Wait, but I remember earlier that Emperor who's connected to the Empress, the, the, the couple who's doing this to you, the Emperor showed up as the King of Cups. Gentleman number one is the King of Cups. I got it mixed up. Gentleman number one is the King of Cups who is the Emperor. He is the husband, the empress is the wife. They're the ones doing this. They're the ones who owns, who own the company. King of Wands could be the one who actually gave you communications. Temperance, peace, harmony. King of Wands could have 
anywhere from brown hair to even red hair. See, he's the one who tried to communicate with you, but was blocked. He's at a distance, curious about you. He knows that someone's trying to get in the way, by the way. He knows it. He knows it. He's been trying to kind of investigate this, the magnifying glass, the magnifying glass. He's determined. That's why he's in that King of Wands energy. He's very passionate and determined to get to the bottom of this. He's been inspecting the situation. He's so curious as to why it, it's so difficult communicating with you. He's showing up as the temperance. Peace, harmony. Okay, let's look at this King of Wands. What does this King of Wands want? Two of Wands is carrying out a plan. Maybe he's trying to help you, right? I know the King of Wands has that warrior-like energy. Let me see here. What is he trying to do? He's carrying out a plan. King of Pentacles. Like, King of Wands doesn't have to be good. This could be a bad person, right? For some of you... Sometimes when there's a blockage, if you're dealing with a blockage, you still have to be obedient to God's will and just ask yourself, okay, what is the purpose of this blockage? Because there's no blockage that God cannot remove. So if he's allowing these people to like over secure you like that, you know, where it's like they're gatekeeping you, if God's allowing it, then it's for a reason. Could it just be that in a way what, you know, the gatekeeping is protecting you from someone bad? Could it be that it's just not time for you to, you know, do something here? This King of Wands, in that Two of Wands energy, carrying out a plan, um... I'm running out of cards. Five of Swords. I just, I wouldn't trust this King of Wands too fast. Maybe he is good. The Sun card is here. King of Pentacles is here. Page of Wands. Eleven. Let me do that again. What is this King of Wands? We're going to continue this in the extended, you guys, because I'm running out of cards. So we're going to continue this in the extended. I'll put the link to the extended in the uh, in the comment section. I will pin the comment. So it'll be the very first comment that you see and the link will be there. Take care, my beautiful people. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. And I'll see you all in the extended.